In this video, I'm going to be going over part four of our gun cluster offensive scheme that we're releasing for free right here on the YouTube channel. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I just want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. I upload videos every single day to YouTube that can help you get better at Madden. Uh, right now, we actually have shifted a little bit into Madden 22 training camp or Madden 22 preparation. Everything that I'm doing on the channel is with Madden 22 in mind. Some of the takeaways that I've had from the beta, how the game plays, and all of that stuff. And so um, if you want to get better at Madden, whether it be in Madden 22 or in Madden 21 or both, uh, I feel like my channel can help you do that. So make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to. And uh, we're talking today about the gun cluster halfback strong. Now, in the past, we've done a couple videos, and uh, I should put a playlist together for that. I'll try to get a playlist together for that for you guys so that you can uh, go back and check out all the other videos. But remember that one of the audibles that we have is this post curls play, and that's what we're gonna be going over today. This is kind of a, a play that you wanna use once you've established the, um, the, the mesh post. The mesh post is really, honestly, it's the best play. I think it might be one of the best plays in the game. Uh, I think it's a top, I think it's at least a top 10 play, if not a top five play. Uh, it's a really, really, really good passing concept. And it's really the, the cornerstone of this offense but we're going to talk today about the cluster halfback strong how to deal with uh, mabel coverage this is a really really good concept for when they start to uh start to just basically try to defend your underneath stuff so this is a really really good concept now uh real quick if you want to learn my entire arizona cardinals offensive guide i have what's called a true fan membership and basically what the true fan membership is is it's ju literally just five bucks for just five bucks you can learn every single week my latest and most up-to-date defense my latest and most up-to-date offense, as well as my film study, um, basically time that I carve out of my schedule to study what the best Madden players are doing. Uh, I basically record that live now and uh, and give that away to you guys on the True Fan membership. So if you want to sign up for that, if you really want to get good at this game, I think that's the best way to do it. Um, it's literally just five bucks. So it's super, super cheap, super affordable. Everybody I know could do five bucks a month, and uh, you get what you get for that is really really top notch most websites make you pay you know 10 to 15 to 20 some websites make you pay like 115 dollars a year so we're trying to make this as accessible as possible to you um but at the same time we do need your support uh to keep the channel going so if you want to support the channel five bucks uh at the true fan membership would be really appreciated and i think we're going to get you uh, a lot of really really good content for madden so post curls um what we're going to do Real quick, you want to make sure that you're, um, if you want to run just the cluster strong, then I would say run four wide receivers. If you want to run cluster and cluster strong, you can't do that. Um, so I just leave it as is. Some people, and mutt, it doesn't really matter at this point. Um, you don't have to run four wide receivers and mutt at this point. So I don't really worry about it. I've got Calvin Johnson tied in in this when I run this in mutt. So, uh, and it worked. Honestly, I've been testing it in the weekend league and I'm undefeated so far. So it's a really, really good offense. But anyways, so what do you do uh, with Mabel coverage? Well, you have to understand that more than likely they're going to use her the circle receiver. He's the best receiver in this offense. He's a receiver that's on every good route. Um, and so they're gonna wanna take away that receiver. So all we're gonna do is basically try to force them to uh, not be able to defend everything. So it's really simple. Um, all we're going to do is we're gonna take the square receiver and we're gonna put him on a hitch route just like so. And then what I like to do is I like to take the running back and put him on a uh, either a in route, uh, which is a really good man beater, or just a simple swing route to the left side. Uh, the in route is probably my preferred way to do this because you get a couple different reads out of this. And then all we're going to do with the triangle receiver is you're going to see we're just going to put him on a out route and we're going to motion him to the outside. So this is the route combination right here really really good against cover three if they're in cover three you're just turn catch turn and throwing and quick out to the cover three side it's going to kill cover three we're going to force people to play some version of a cover two defense and it's really really nice so if they're running i'm telling you right now if they are running cover three and i'm going to i'm going to man align or i'm going to base align this cover three real quick because i want you to see this concept and how it really does work well so if they're, if they're running cover three, I'm dropping everybody back in coverage, okay? And I just want you to see this. This is gonna be the same in Madden 22. This, this has been the same for years. If they are running a cover three zone, throw this out route, pass lead it up, you get about 10 yards out of it. It's really simple, 
No zone drop guards it that I'm aware of, um, other than obviously them having to run cover two. Let me show you another re So I'm gonna put this guy in a hard flat. So this this flat zone right here that Cockrell was on, he's in 10 yards, uh, or not 10 yards, five yards. Um, the same over here. So I'm gonna put uh, this guy just like this, okay? And then uh, again, traditional Mabel coverage principles. So basically this right here, okay? So I just want you to watch the same concept. So I'm gonna motion out uh, Godwin. And I want you to watch this corner. See how he, you just let him set. And once you pass lead it up, click on. And he actually got out there decently. So if they hard flat that guy, then they've got that. But that's gonna create a ton of problems for them whenever we go to, uh, whenever we come from our original setup, which if we did this, and if th this is a hot route master thing, so I would recommend, like I, I really do recommend Hot Rod Master at this point in the season. Um, it's not that hard to get Hot Rod Master on the field, but if you're in regs, um, you don't have to have this. But what you can do in regs, that throws a lot easier. Um, if I had, if I had Rogers, I could throw that ball. But what you can do is you could simply put Brown on a corner route. Now, if they're doing that adjustment, it's an easy read over the top of that route. So my point is, yes, they can stop it in a cover three if they do all of those steps, but they can't stop both things, which is really, really cool. Okay, so more than likely, it's going to take, you're going to get at least a couple of throws out of that, where you, out of that read where you can throw the out route before they're going to have to adjust to it. Okay, that out route works from both the tight end and it works from the triangle receiver, uh, which is really, 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 really cool. Okay. So now what's gonna happen is you're gonna to start to see that they're gonna to adjust to that, and so we gotta have something else. Well, this circle receiver route, even if they cross man him, even whatever, it's the best, it's just the best post route that I've seen. Um, these post routes from this specific formation are a really, really good post route. Um, they just get underneath zones really well, so they're gonna to have to use or circle. Um, if they don't use or circle, you can throw him open. Uh, you can throw him open at multiple points as well. Uh, we're gonna show that real quick. So if I, let's say that they use him right at the snap and then they go to the tight end, which is a popular tactic. If I wait on this ball, um, you're gonna see that I can kind of get this in on the sideline. Now, um, the one problem is out of this specific setup, um, it doesn't lend itself to allowing us to do that, but other plays in this offensive scheme, we, we're able to do that, okay? But I just want to show, like, and again, gunslinger helps. It really does. But if you, so, like, if you motion this guy out, watch circle. I can wait, 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 throw it right in that pocket as well. That's what I'm trying to say. So there's there's two to three windows at which you can throw that route. So if they're not usering on it at any of those points, you can hit them uh, relatively easily. But let's just assume that they're going to start usering that route. Okay, so... Now what we can do, if we wanted to, we could put, um, there's some other ways we could run this concept. A lot of ways we could run this concept, but really the route we're wanting to build around is this uh, tight end route. So this tight end curl route is really good. Um, you're gonna see right here that if there's no yellow on the left or the right, you're gonna have an easy, easy, easy read. Now, one little thing that you can do that is actually relatively, um, I mean, I just think it's really good, is if you want to just focus on the right side. So let's say you want to glitch out, like let's say they're running a vertical hook and you know they are, but you you still want to throw to the right. Um, all you have to do uh, is take the running back and put him on a option route or a curl route, and then you're going to use that same motion out tactic. And then what I would do with square is I would still put him on a hitch route uh, because it's just going to be a really good pull route for the post. So you see here, this simple concept. Look at look at all of the open routes. Everything like everything has an opportunity to get open. The route to um, the out route for whatever reason. Whenever you do this setup, let me show you this one more time. So again, this is what I'm getting at. So you see here, we're going to have something like this, and then let's just say for the sake of argument that we have a yellow or on the left side just to kind of help the coverage out a little bit. And I just want to show you, again, you don't have to, you can just put the running back on a wheel rod. If you don't want to motion people out, like let's say they're base aligning you. If you get a look like this right here, 
Um, you don't have to. You don't even have to motion people out. Just put square on a, cur a, a hitch, and what you'll see is these these hitches. You can also playmaker them up. I'm dropping a significant amount of people too, by the way. Um, but anyways, let me talk one more time about the vertical hook specifically, though, to the right. So let's say they put the defensive end in a vertical hook. It has. It does. Also, it does have to be a vertical hook. It can't be anything else. But if they put the defense in a vertical hook, what you're going to see is this triangle receiver gets wide open over the middle of the field. Is what I'm trying to get at. You can also hitch the triangle receiver. So if you if you really want to, and this is where I was talking about the um, the running back on an option. If you want to keep the out route, that's where you can really leverage the running back on an option route. So if you put the running back on like this route right here, and then you have uh, your out route right here, then what you're going to see is this vertical hook is going to get, he just put in conflict. Um, he's going to have to guard one of them, and then as you can see there, we can throw the tight end. I don't know what Brady's doing, but it's a, it's a simple little, you know, catch turn throw. Part of this is the, um, it's because I put this guy on a curl flat. If this guy's on the seam, you know, anything other than that, um, he's going to go out there. And again, if he doesn't go out there, just throw the out route. Like even more, even more reason to throw this out route. So if they're if they're having to do these two adjustments right here to stop the out route, now you're going to see we're going to open up even more space to be able to throw this ball uh, to the tight end. So let me show you this real quick. So again, motion him out, snap, throw, catch, turn, and now you've got this defender in a lot of conflict. He can't be right. He literally can't be right. If he leans a little bit to the left, you throw to the right. If he leans over the other way, then you throw the other direction. So these hitches and curls, there's so much you can do with them. I can't cover all of that in this video, but that's the main thing that we're looking at is can we hit this tight end um, on this side? Another simple way to do this play is if you wanted to put the running back on a table route, put triangle on a hitch, this is a great, great, great concept as well. Again, they're in conflict. They're going to have to choose one of the two. You can leave triangle on that route if they're spying their guy, like if they're, if they're, if a, most people don't use spies in Madden 21, but if they are spying their guy, a spy will cover this. Um, but I want to be really clear about one thing. So you've got a spy. So let's say you run this setup um, and you do this, you know, basically this version of it, right? I just want to show you what you can do with this triangle. If you just move, you move the spy and then you can throw. So you just shuffle right or left a little bit. And then you can easily, you know, throw that ball to the, to the, to the little, little snag concept right here to triangle. Another thing you can do, the cool part about gun cluster is you can actually um, motion snap multiple people, which I really love about this. This is different. It's actually, I think a better feature than gun bunch because gun bunch, you can't do that. Um, but what you could do, so let's say they drop, um, you know, let's say they drop a vertical hook over there. What you can do is you can just simply motion snap him just a little bit, snap the ball, look at where he's going to get now. Now he's got even better spacing. And as you can see, you're able to really put that defender in conflict. So that's one of the beauties of this offense. It really does put the a lot of stress on Mabel coverage. It's a lot of stress on Mabel coverage. Um, we haven't talked about man coverage shaded in underneath real quick. So let's talk a little bit about man coverage. Uh, first and foremost, the way we're running this offense, uh, the first setup, the biggest thing I want to talk about when it comes to man coverage is this tight end route. If you low ball, pass lane inside, you're going to have an easy read. Okay, so it's easy, just low ball, throw it to tight end. You're going to have a lot of consistency with that route. Um, the other beauty of the gun cluster is that this hitch on the left is on the line of scrimmage. So let's say you're going um, with the first setup. Use this little motion trick right here. What you're going to see is this running back kills man coverage. There's not a man coverage in the game that will guard that running back route really simple against man um, if you get a man blitz that's a really really good read you're going to force them to have to get over there with their user because the linebacker on the back side of the formation is who's covering him um, and then this square route right here just throw it inside just throw it inside easy read he's going to post him up really smooth uh, and really easy also against man coverage we didn't even really hit on it but this route to um, this route to the circle receiver uh, typically will beat me in. Um, this is why you want to have your best receiver there, but you see there, it typically does beat me in. That was a bad release, and he still was able to get open. So um, this is post curls. Post curls is a lot of fun. There's a lot of things you can do with this, uh, and I mean a lot of things. One of the other concepts that you could do if you want to is you could take the circle receiver and put him on a flat. You could wheel the running back out of the backfield, and then you could actually, if you have a hot route master, 
bring a post over the top of that just like this right here so you see you've got this kind of spacing concept now and now it's, it's just hard to stop this with zone uh, it really is it's hard to stop with man hard to stop with zone this is a really good play so this is gun cluster uh, i think it's part four we've got more of this coming i hope you're enjoying the series if you haven't subscribed yet be sure to do so and i really want to encourage you to join our true fan membership it's where you get everything in detail and um, it's, it's just really really good it's it's basically a a very in-depth look at offense and defense and competitive Madden. So if you want to get access to that, it's literally just five bucks a month. And I'm going to leave a link down in the description for you to be able to sign up.